make sure those IPLs are nice and straight. I'm going to take my angle off of my tube for this extra. This is a perpendicular beam, no angle required at all. I'm going to put my situation right approximately at the gonion, but I may need to adjust this as I fix the head and rotate her head. So what do we do? Since I'm not putting an angle on my tube, how can I achieve an oblique mandible? Angle, 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 the, mandible. angle the head, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do is, she's already in true lateral. I'm going to have her step to her side just a little bit and tilt the head in 15 degrees. Right there. So that's really important. Don't step away, tilt the head in 15 degrees. At that point, I have her head exactly how I want it to be. I'm also going to tip her chin up just a little bit. Make sure you tip that chin up. Such a right is still going to be right on the gonion. So make your adjustments. Come forward a little bit. There we go, right on the gonion. Let's make sure we line our tube up. I'm sorry if I scrape the side of your face here. I'll try not to. There we go. Make sure that head's touching that IR as much as possible. Now, what do you notice? Is the shoulder an issue anymore? No. no. See how clear that manual is of the shoulder? This is why this is my preferred method in clinic. This gives you beautiful axial lateral oblique pictures and you're covering the entire mandible instead of focusing on one area. So definitely a great way if you do a competency, much easier in my opinion. Bring your collimation down. Make sure you're still clearing those TMJs. And be careful with your collimation, guys, because the momentum, as you know, is part of our mandible. Don't go so crazy with your collimation that you have it like this and you chop off the tip of that mandible. A lot of times the nose is a good point to use, but you know, some people have very short noses, it may be shorter than the momentum. Be careful, use your critical thinking skills and your best judgment. Marker can go in the open space you have. Your patient is to hold very still as usual. Don't move, don't breathe, and expose. And that will give you a beautiful axial lateral oblique general survey. So once again, what's the method for capstone? The body. The body method. What is the method that you have the option of general, general survey. survey. Right, don't mix those up. Be very careful. Okay? Any questions on those two? Because those can be quite tough. Mm -hmm. It'll make sense if you get your hands, hands on. It's all about those head tilts that we're going to utilize for those okay. examinations. Can you show like, how we 